Hey guys, what's going on? Dr. Frank here, founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching Programs. And in today's brief video, I wanna talk about one of the primary reasons why I quit smoking weed. And that reason has to do with me being pro-cannabis, pro-420, and the respect that I have for the cannabis plant. Here at Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching, we help people quit nicotine, THC, energy drinks, and adult media content. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy today's video. Many of you know who have been watching this channel for a long time that when I first started smoking weed, I truly enjoyed it. When I first started smoking weed, I truly believe there was benefit to it. But as I progressed in my relationship with weed, as I progressed on my weed smoking journey, eventually that relationship turned toxic and I began abusing the plant. Um, towards the end of my weed smoking journey, I was purchasing both black market THC cartridges and medical dispensary grade high concentration THC cartridges. So I went from using the plant recreationally out of enjoyment and maybe to help with stress relief to using it and abusing it. It was something that I became obsessed with. It was something that I became addicted to. It was something that I became dependent upon. And I continued to force myself to use cannabis, even though it was something that I knew deep down I should no longer be doing. And this is the point in my journey where I feel I was dr greatly disrespecting weed. And by me continuing to smoke, I started to view it as a disservice to the pro 420 community. Like anything, cannabis has benefits. And I think there's a lot of people out there who stand to experience the benefits of cannabis. But what happens when you have someone like me who refuses to put it down, even though I've run my course with cannabis use? Well, towards the end of my journey, I started to get sick. I started to develop symptoms of cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome, nausea, extreme weight loss, muscle and joint pain. I couldn't eat food anymore. I was, I was getting sick. Um, towards the end of my journey, I was also starting to develop symptoms of psychosis. I was truly losing touch with who I was in touch with reality. I was numb, but I was numb to everything. I was numb to the good emotions and the bad emotions. And truly, I wanted nothing more but to feel again. And this is where I made that decision. Listen, Frank, if you're really pro-cannabis, if you really believe in the benefits of weed, you, you have to allow other people to experience that. And I didn't want to be another statistic going to the hospital in and out of the ER for symptoms of cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome because I couldn't stop abusing it. I didn't want to be another statistic that was involved, which I never did this, but that would ever be involved in driving well under the influence and getting into a car accident. I didn't want to be one of the individuals to give weed a bad name. It's not a bad thing that people get addicted. It's not a bad thing that people get dependent. What's bad is when we don't talk about it and when we don't recognize that as a possibility for those who use cannabis. That's why I created this channel. I created this channel even though I help people quit THC. I created it because I'm pro 420. I'm pro cannabis use. And I do believe there's tons of medicinal benefits and even recreational benefits to smoking. But I knew by me continuing to abuse the plant, continuing to abuse THC, that I was going to give it a bad name. And I don't want to be one of those statistics. I don't want to ruin this opportunity for someone else who might benefit from it recreationally or medically. The most mature thing that I could do the most respectful thing that I could do when it came to quitting cannabis was stop using it. There's another level of respect too that I wasn't giving cannabis. There's people who work incredibly hard to create a legal dispensary, whether that's recreational or medicinal. And by buying it off of the black market, by consuming black market products, I was doing a huge disservice to all those people who are working so hard to run legal cannabis facilities. I was also, in a sense, giving them a bad name because of the addiction that developed, right? Why does alcohol have a bad rap? Alcohol is actually toxic. I'm going to be blunt about that. But typically, we think of alcohol and the trouble and the bad things that it causes, right? Even though some people recreationally can have enjoyment with having a drink of alcohol. Um, 
I didn't want to be in that group of people when it came to the cannabis plant because I know there's benefits. I know there's people out there who deserve to experience it. And I was working against that movement by being part of it. I'm still very part of the pro 420 community. I'm still very part of the pro cannabis community. And I do that now by talking about the issues that may arise and providing resources to people who are struggling. Because stuff like this, this prevents the ER visits. This prevents people getting sick. This prevents people's lives falling apart because of cannabis use. The more we talk about it and the more we respect it as a plant and as a substance, the easier our transition into a pro-cannabis um, demographic, a pro-cannabis community, a pro-cannabis nation is going to be. But if we don't talk about it and we live in denial, which is exactly what I was doing as the person who was addicted, we're doing cannabis a mass, Jesus, we're doing cannabis a massive disservice. I'm outside, it's like 90 degrees, there's bees flying around, I'm sweating, um, but here I am shooting this video. I, I, do you guys understand the point that I'm trying to make? Let me know in the comments and let me know, are you someone who's truly respecting weed? Because if you're in a position right now where you're noticing an addiction, where you're noticing bad behaviors revolving around your weed use, maybe it's time you, you put action behind your words. If you're really pro 420 and you're struggling, maybe today's the day you quit. Maybe today's the day you reach out to our channel and you get the help you need. Maybe today's the day you talk to someone about it. I promise you, this is the best thing you can do to be pro-cannabis. You don't wanna be part of the problem when it comes to this. You wanna be part of the solution. And talking about it and airing it out, that's how we get solutions to this stuff. Follow me into the next video where I give you guys some simple tips on how to start quitting using weed. I'll see you guys there.